Hey guys, it's Haley, and today we're going to do an eyeshadow palette declutter. So I did just recently declutter like all of this, um, but I do have my eyeshadow palettes to, to declutter. I have a bag of ones in front of me, and then I also have these in this drawer. So I'm just gonna like pull from both um, and go from there. I want to get rid of a lot, and I think I am actually gonna get rid of a lot. I've been living out of kind of like the ones in here, and then these ones I will probably get rid of a lot of. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between these. Um, also, I am going to list um, the eyeshadow palettes I'm getting rid of on Depop to sell and or my Instagram so I will link those so you're able to buy them if you want them. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First one I'm gonna grab is this Alomar Cosmetics. I got this from a BoxyCharm and I'm keeping this. I am obsessed with this palette. It is one of my favorites. This shade is just stunning. Um, let's grab the, I had two of these, I already um, got rid of, it's the purple one, I got rid of that one. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault, this is in the shade Dark Magic, which I was obsessed with these shades, but unfortunately the quality was not good, so I am going to declutter that one. Um, I just recently got the two, or I'm sorry, the uh, ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I haven't got to use this yet, but I did just buy it, I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to keep this one. Let's go through some of my Anastasia palettes. I have the Master Palette by Mario. It's somewhere in this bag. We will find it. Right now I have these. So right away I can tell you I'm keeping the Norvina palette. This is my favorite Anastasia palette. It's just so stunning, so pretty. I love the shades. Um, I use this all the time. I'm keeping this one. I think it's time to get rid of the Prism palette. While I do like it and the shades are so fun, like Dimension, it's so beautiful. Like it's got some really pretty shades in it, but because of the way the color story is like laid out, I don't use it. So I am going to get rid of the Prism palette. Now, I can tell you right away that I am going to be keeping the Master Palette by Mario. I'm not sure where it is in my bag here, but I'm absolutely keeping it. So if I can't find it as of right now, I am keeping that one. Modern Renaissance, it's time to get rid of. I have talked about how much I like don't love this or I don't fall into the hype of this. It's time to get rid of it. I kept it so I could compare it to others in my, my collection or in new ones, whatever, but it's time to get rid of this. I don't use it. I don't love it. It's time to go. Now this one's hard because I do like Subculture and the shades are so beautiful and grungy so I'm going to put this one in a maybe. I'm not sure what I want to do with this because I don't use it a ton but I do really enjoy it so I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. I have a couple Lorac palettes right here. I have some more in the back. Um, I have my original Lorac and my Lorac Pro 2 so this one I want to keep honestly because I'm so close to hitting pan on a ton of these and just because I have so much I haven't used it and I think if I like put some time into using this I will use it so I want to keep this one because I want to go through it and then the Lorac Pro 2 I actually love all of these sh like all of these shades so I'm going to keep this one I want to get more use out of it. I have a lot of Kat Von D shadows. I think all of these are Kat Von D. I really enjoyed Kat Von D in the past, but with everything now, she used to be my favorite brand, but with everything now, she's not. And I'm gonna go through these with you. I can get rid of some of these for sure. This is the shade and lot I quad in Rust. I used to really love this. Um, it was just a nice, simple, everyday. The shadows are really good, um, but the quality of this is really good. I love the packaging, but I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's time for it to go because I have so many shadows like this, so I think that one's going to go. This one, <laughs> this is her half of the Better Together in collaboration with Too Faced. I got rid of the other half. I love these shades. This one is going to stay. I actually love this. Now... This one's actually a face palette that needs to not be in this drawer. 
here's where it gets hard because, okay, so I have the shade Light Palette. This one, I actually like, but I don't use it enough. So I think I need to put this in the maybe and kind of go from there. I put that in maybe. Oh my gosh, these Kat Von D ones are gonna hold up. I gotta wait on those. I'm not sure what I wanna do with those. Let's go through these Urban Decay. I have these Naked palettes. I already got rid of the Naked 3. So, for sure, I know I'm gonna get rid of the Naked Smoky. I kept this last time because there is just like a really cute, like gray look that I like to do. That being said, I don't know if I have other grays. I'm gonna put this in a maybe. I wanna get rid of this, but I need to see if I have other grays before I get rid of this because I do like it for when I pull out that look. So let me see what I have. I am gonna get rid of the Naked Heat. While this is a really great Naked palette because they finally put in the mattes that you need, the quality is great. But again, I have so many of these shades that I don't need it, so that's gonna go. Now, Naked 2 is my favorite Naked palette. It just is. It's great. The shade, I have to be careful, the shade Tease came out of this. It's really cool toned and really pretty, and I love it. I'm keeping that one for sure. And then the Naked Original, I need to figure out, I want to keep this. I want to keep this. Um, let's go through a couple in this bag. The front, the bag here in front of me is like all the stuff that I like love, so I'm just gonna go through these. I have the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette that I'm keeping. I just got it. It's so beautiful and stunning and I love it. What do I have in here? Okay, so I have, oh, let me find the little one. So in my Ipsy Plus bag, I just got this little Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette, so I'm gonna keep this. I do want to try it. And I do have two other little Huda Beauty palettes. So I have the Smoky Obsessions, which I really like, and I'm going to keep this. There's not really... Man, I was hoping there would be a gray in this so I could get rid of my Naked. But there's not really a gray. There's a silver, but I am going to keep this because I really like the quality. I am going to get rid of the Emerald Obsessions. I love green eyeshadows, if you know me. I love green eyeshadows. But these... I don't like the quality of these, so I'm going to get rid of this one. I have other green palettes that I like a lot more than that. Let's go through some Too Faced. That one's Too Faced. This one. I had some of the, I don't know where all my eyeshadow palettes went. I had the um, Chocolate Bar palettes. Um, I got rid of the original Chocolate Bar. I kept the Semi Sweet because I like, this is my favorite one. That being said, I may not need this one. Let me put this one in a maybe because I may not need that. It's time to get rid of it. The Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. I love the shades. It's so pretty, it's so beautiful, but like Jaclyn Hill palette has these shades and I don't use the purples, so time to get rid of that one. The Natural Matte. See, here's the thing, I like this one too. I'm so bad, I'm so bad. And then I have this Chocolate Gold, which I really have not got enough use out of. I've used it like once and I need to use it more. This is so hard. I'm really bad at this because it's so difficult. Um, here, let's go through some Tarte palettes. I know for a fact I have Tarte palettes I can get rid of. Um, for sure. So I have a few of these. Um, I'm keeping the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I really like this palette. It's really stunning and pretty. The Tartlet Toasted palette. It's really good quality, but again, I have these shades in so many palettes that I just don't reach for this, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I have the Tartan Aspen Ovard palette. I don't think I need this. Let me put that in a maybe. This one I got in a BoxyCharm. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. I haven't even touched this yet. Look how cute. I haven't even looked at this packaging yet. It's so cute. But the shades are like super boring to me. I'm gonna get rid of this. I haven't even touched it yet. So that'll be good for someone because I haven't touched it. I have a couple of Jeffree Star palettes here. These are hard because I get Jeffree Star palettes and I want to love them and then I don't use them. So this is the Androgyny. It's got a really nice military green shade which I really like. I think I may get rid of this one. I think I need to get rid of this. 
I think it needs to go. The Thirsty palette. I think this needs to go too. Like, let me compare this to my Jawbreaker because I really like this top row and I like this shade. This is like the only one I like. See, that looks really similar to that. I don't know if you can see, but... I don't know if there's a shade similar to this one, but I think this one needs to go. I've used it like once, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I just don't use it. Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This is going to surprise you all. I really like this palette. It's a really great palette, but I don't use it. I have other Natasha Denona shadows I like more than this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Have you ever seen anyone do that? I bet you have not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, I had this Tarte. This is the Tarte Man Eater palette. I used to really enjoy this palette. It's really good. They've updated it now where this shadow is cut in half and then there's a black down here. I really like this for a time, but again, shades are just super, <laughs> super. I have this in so many palettes. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, let's go through a couple of these here. Let's just go through some of my Natasha Denona while we're while we're at it. So I have three Natasha Denona palettes here. I've got my Natasha Denona green brown palette. This is staying. You will have to drag this out of my cold dead hands. I love this palette. And then I have the Natasha Denona Star Palette, which is also staying with me. It's so beautiful. I love it. I'll talk about the gold palette later. I have a couple of NARS palettes here. I have the NARS Wanted Palette and the NARS Loaded Palette. I have such an issue with NARS. I always want to love their makeup, and I always buy it, and then I just don't like it. And when I look at this, I want to like it. I've always wanted to like it, but I don't. I need to use it and try it again. And then the NARS Wanted palette. Really pretty. I'm going to put that in a maybe. I don't know what I want to do with that. I was like, I'm going to be so cutthroat with these. And now I'm just like, it's so hard. I have the Color so ColourPop Perception palette. Really pretty palette. Really beautiful. Great colors. Great shades. Great quality. But I'm going to get rid of it. I don't use it. I think I've used it once and I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this is an Ofra, just single shadow thing. I'm going to get rid of that. I have the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. I'm going to... Oh, what should I do with this palette? I want to keep this one. I have the ColourPop All I See is Magic palette. I can't have a giant pile of maybes. That's that's what my problem is, is I just want all the maybes. Um, I have this BH Cosmetics Wild and Free palette. This one's kind of nostalgic for me because this is like one of the very first palettes that I bought um, to do a Casey Holmes tutorial, but it's time to get rid of this. I don't use it. They're really great quality shadows, but it's just time for this to go. This one's hard too. This one's so nostalgic for me. This is the um, Artist Shadow 9 Pan um, Volume 1. The quality is so good. This is my only Makeup Forever palette. Man, I have, okay, and I'm struggling guys because I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these I say, but then I'm like, now that I look at them, I'm like, I don't want to. Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette, I'm keeping this. This is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. If I had to rebuy all of my eyeshadow palettes, this would be one of the first ones I, I purchased. I did just recently buy the Zodiac. I'm keeping this one. Um, again, another Kathleen Lights one. Um, I've been using the shade The Libra and the Cancer. It's so beautiful. Um, I have this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I'm gonna get rid of this. I saved it from my last declutter, but I haven't used it since, so that one is going to go. I have this Nightingale Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow palette. I got in a BoxyCharm. I have not touched this. And while it is a really good, like, cool tone shades, I'm going to keep the Naked 2. And since I haven't touched this, I'm sure someone would absolutely love this. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's see. 
my two favorite eyeshadow palettes that are absolutely staying with me, the Gemini and the Smoke Sessions palette, the Milk Cosmetics. It's just, this is like my favorite palette. It's beautiful, stunning. I will never get rid of this. And then the Smoke Sessions palette, of course, I'm keeping that. I just love the blues. They're just stunning. I have this Smashbox Ablaze palette. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use this. It's good quality, though. This Laura Lee Party Animal. I think I got this in a boxy charm. I haven't touched it. Not once. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. I love, 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 love this palette. It's beautiful, stunning, great quality. Hmm, what else do I have in here? Oh, I got this Alternative Cosmetics. This is just a glitter palette, but I haven't touched it. I remember the formula was weird, I thought. But I don't have any glitter palettes. I'm going to put that in the maybe. I have this Pure Cosmetics Midnight Masquerade. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I only like this green basically so I'm gonna get rid of that I have the colored rain Queen of Hearts palette this one's stunning and I'm keeping this one this is the Marc Jacobs Scandalust last time I got rid of one of these Marc Jacobs palettes this is a really nice beautiful palette but I don't use it quality's great but it's time for that one to go. I have two Juvia's Place palettes. I have the Magic Mini, which is really beautiful. I haven't got to pull this out enough and use it, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I have the Tribe palette, which I haven't used yet, but I do want, I just recently got it. I'm not sure if I'm going to love it because I do like the kind of like the deeper greens, but I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it. Hmm. I got this Butter London eyeshadow palette. Uh, I don't know what it's called. This is Butter London in a boxy charm. Um, and I don't think I love the shades, so I'm going to get rid of this one. My pile is big over here. I have the Tardis Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. While I don't use this one a ton, I'm not going to get rid of this. This one is actually one of the only sentimental ones that I am going to keep. My grandpa got this one for me, so I am going to keep this even though I don't use it a lot. Um, my favorite palette of all time, the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the palette that whenever I see all these warm tone shades that I'm I like, I can get rid of that because I have this Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm getting rid of the Naked Heat, getting rid of the Smashbox Ablaze, Modern Renaissance, um, the Tartlet palette, like all, all of those warm tone ones I'm getting rid of because I'm keeping this one. I love this palette. It's my favorite. I use this all the time. Um, so I'm getting rid of like five or six palettes because I'm keeping this one. Now this one is the burn book. Uh, this is the um, storybook cosmetics. I am keeping this. I love Mean Girls. I bought this because of Mean Girls um, and I don't normally buy things because of packaging or anything like that. I don't like to buy like Pirates of the Caribbean collection because it's Pirates of the Caribbean but Mean Girls is my favorite movie so I am keeping that one. Um, this is the Bad Habit Athena palette. This is supposed to be a dupe for the um, uh, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I haven't used this. I, I got this because there was one shade, I think it was this one, that I wanted from that palette. So cool, so pretty. I think I can get rid of this. Oh man, it's so pretty though. But I want the original one. That's the thing. But if I have this, I don't know if I need it. That's a problem. I don't know about that one. What else do I have in here? This is supposed to be... I have the Master Palette by Mario. I don't know where it went. I may have forgot to grab it. Um, but I'm keeping the Master Palette by Mario. Now this is supposed to be a dupe for that. This is another Bad Habit palette. Um, but... I don't think Bad Habit is a thing anymore, um, so I'm going to get rid of this one because I have the original one. 
I have more palettes in here. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I have more palettes. So in here. I was like, I'm missing some palettes. I think. I think that's all of my eyeshadow palettes. This should be most of them, if it's not all of them. Venus 2 from Lime Crime I'm keeping. I really like this for like that grungy look. Let me compare this to the subculture because maybe if I'm keeping this, I don't need subculture. Because it's got the green. And then electric kind of looks like fly. I know the quality of this one's a little bit better. They are a bit different. I did like the quality of Subculture. And I do have other greens, so that's the thing. I am keeping this one, but I have to figure out what I'm going to do about Subculture, because I do like Subculture. I have the Anastasia Sultry palette. I haven't used this, that's the thing. I think I should get rid of this, but... I'm only keeping one palette, right? I think I'm only keeping the Norvina, so maybe that, because I got rid of Modern Renaissance Prism. I think I'm going to keep this because I haven't got to use it enough. Okay, let's talk about this. This is the um, Viseart Dark Matte Palette. I like this, but I don't love this, and especially for the price, um, I just use this to like pull it out and use it, like because I spent so much money on it. I don't love it. Well, I do like it. Can this one be? We've got the red, we've got the greens and blues. Maybe I should keep this one rather than this one because I do like the formula. That one looks kind of like this one. That one's... See, how do people... Like, I know, but it's good. These, I feel like if I keep this one, and it's got that purple, they're very similar, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare these in a little bit. Guys, I thought I was gonna be more cutthroat than this. I have a big pile over here, but um, this is a Z palette that I made. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of this. I spent a lot of money on making my little Z. It's not even full, but I have greens in here that I really like. I have this Natasha Denona Gold palette. I'm keeping this one. This is the Theory palette from Visart. I wanted this so bad, but like I'm not drawn to use it. I've literally hardly used it. I think I need to get rid of it. Okay, let's talk about these. Um, so this one's a face palette, so that needs to not be in there. But this is the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette with Urban Decay. Um, it's time to get rid of this. I don't use it, and while I really like Gwen Stefani, I really like these rose gold shades. I have this in so many palettes, so that one's going to go. I have this MAC palette that is the Warm Neutrals. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use it. This is the Kat Von D Saint in the Center palette. I'm going to keep this. I know with Kat Von D, I know, but how can I get rid of this? It's stunning. Keeping that one. I have this Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This one's huge. It's really stunning. It is, but I don't use it. I think it's time to get rid of it. Yeah, I need to get rid of it. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts me. I love, I love eyeshadow palettes. They're my favorite part of my collection, but I have too much. I just have too much, and it's time to get rid of some. And I have a big pile over here. I'm proud of this. <laughs> This one's nostalgic for me. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Art Artist Palette, and since I did get rid of the Jaclyn Hill purple one, I am going to keep this. The quality is so nice and pretty. I used that on my graduation day. That's why it's nostalgic. Uh, the thing is, is like I want to keep all of these. I have the Manny MUA Makeup Geek Palette. While I'm not like a super fan of Manny anymore, I think I want to keep this. They're really pretty. Makeup Geek is so good. This red is like so hard now, but like the quality is like, look at that. It's so pigmented and so good. I think I want to keep this Manny MUA one. I like to wear this to concerts actually because it lasts so well. I keep this in the box. <laughs> this is the um, Estee Lauder Beach Metals. I use this to death. 
um, but it's so old now and I don't I say I'm gonna use it and I keep it for nostalgia but it's time to get rid of that I want to keep all these this is the Kat Von D anniversary palette I really like this the shades are really pretty and really good I think I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have any rainbow palettes I'm gonna get rid of this Athena one if I decide that I really want the this palette, I can just go buy the, the Huda Beauty one. The Lorac Mega Pro. This one's got such pretty shades. I'm so bad at this, guys. I, I just love eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels. Let me see. I love, I got it for this shade right here. It's so pretty. And the green and the gold like this my last declutter I said I was gonna declutter this and then I pulled it back out because they're so pretty I don't have very many drugstore palettes I'm gonna keep that one because I genuinely like that this was the um, Urban Decay Great and Powerful Oz eyeshadow palette I've kept this because I just love it I love the packaging and I actually thought I was gonna keep this but it's time to get rid of it. Looking at the shades, I know I'm not going to use it. It's time to get, it's time for it to go. I, wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised that I just am getting rid of this, but I am. Okay. Monarch palette by Kat Von D. Guys, it's getting harder and harder because I like these. I'm gonna have a big maybe pile. Here's this one's hard too. This is the Smashbox Masterclass palette. This one's nostalgic because I used this look in my grad, uh, my senior photos. I love these are so beautiful, and then it's got these like these colors too. But I think it's time to get rid of it. Like while I do genuinely love this, I literally never use it, and I just love it because it's nostalgic. I think it's time for it to go. I didn't think I was gonna get rid of this one either, but. It's time for it to go. Natasha Denona. I'm gonna keep this one. Then I have these three. Hmm. I'm just gonna pull out all my babies here with this. This is my maybe pile. I'm gonna get rid of this color pop. All I see is Magic Palette. I do like it, but it's time for it to go. I think I'm gonna get rid of this alternative cosmetics even though it's I don't have like these glitters I have like the steel glitter and glows and this is kind of weird to work with I think I'm gonna get rid of that one I want to keep subculture I'm trying to like dupe it out with other shades but I want to keep it I don't think I saw any other grays I want to get rid of this but I don't have grays and I like this for the grays so what's in here no grays. Hmm. I want to keep this natural matte palette. I don't think I need this NARS Wanted palette. I just want to keep it. I'm going to keep both these NARS ones. I'm going to try to use these. If I don't use them by the next declutter, I'm going to get rid of them. I, as much as I really want to keep this, I, it's time for me to get rid of it. Makeup Forever Shadows are really great, but one, these are decently old. They're probably still great quality because shadows hold up well, but I don't use it. It's all shimmer, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um... I want to keep this one, but I think I need to get rid of it because, again, I have the shade. So the Cine Sweet one, mm, but it smells so good still, and I want to keep it. I'm going to keep the Chocolate Gold because I need to use it more. I haven't got to use it enough. If I don't, Again, if I don't use it by the next time, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep the Shade and Light Eye. I want this one. I'm going to keep the Viseart one. I may just keep all of these, that's the problem. I 
I think I need to get rid of the Cabal Knee Monarch because it's older. You can't get it anymore and it's still good quality. I just don't use it. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. That hurts. I like that one. I'm going to keep the semi sweet. I want it. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the Mega Pro. I didn't have the only reason I'm keeping this is because I don't have any other grays and I use this for that. I'm going to keep this one, I think. I think let me go through how many I've kept and how many I've decided to get rid of. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. Let me pull them all right here. I've decided to get rid of 36 eyeshadow palettes, all of these. That's bad, you can't see it. I'm getting rid of 36. I was keeping 46. So I'm going to do a quick run through and see if of any of the ones I've kept, if there's any more I want to get rid of. So I just realized in this Kat Von D one that I'm keeping, it has a gray. So I'm going to get rid of the Naked Smoky. I'm going to get rid of the Tribe palette. Um, while I do like my Magic Mini, um, I think the greens in here aren't kind of like suited to the looks I want to do. I like the deeper ones a little bit better. So I'm going to get rid of this. I have other greens. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So that's 38. So these are the 38 eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be getting rid of. Again, those will be linked on my Poshmark or my Instagram if you are interested in any of those. These are the 46 that I'm keeping. You'll notice the baked browns from Dose of Colors. I found that. I'm also keeping that one. And then um, I don't have it here, but I also have the Riviera palette from Anastasia. I don't know where that went, but I'm also keeping that one. But that is what I have. Thank you guys for watching. I know, you know, I did keep a lot of palettes, but I decluttered almost half of my palettes. I'm really proud of the amount I'm getting rid of, especially because I got rid of some of like my nostalgic shadows. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in any of those shadows, let me know. Um, or if there were any of like my maybes that uh, you were interested in that I decided I would keep. If you let me know, comment down below that you want it. Um, maybe I can send that to you. But um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.